bringing the 2000s back in the best way possible. He's the <clears> Grammy-nominated <throat> rapper and singer who just released his latest album, Chicks Tape 5, featuring some of the biggest names in music. Please welcome Tory Lane. Ow! <laughs> Like, look at your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Tori. Thank and thank for you for donating me. to Toys for Tots. No, thank y'all yes. for having me. I yeah. It. Okay. So, a few weeks ago, you went viral when you had said that you you didn't think women should ask for gifts that they can't afford. And we even talked about it here on Girl Chat, too. So, what, I mean, what was the feedback like that you got? And what did you mean by it? Because we were even trying to decode what you meant by it. Well, first of all, it, it wasn't you know, that you shouldn't buy girls gifts or whatever of they course. can't afford. Okay. Really what I was touching on is I'm a person who, me, I come with a vibe. When I meet somebody, if we're vibing out, we know each other, it's gotten to that certain point where, like, we have that kind of rapport with each other. Okay. It's no problem for me to shower you and things if you my girl or you somebody I look at like that. Okay. But, but at the same time, right, let's say, um, you know, because we're all young here, you know, things happen. If you're at the club and you and this lady have a night of passion, all of a sudden, it, it shouldn't just be right for me to ask her for anything either or for her to ask me for anything. It's like, uh, it's like, okay. it's so, like, it's like, for instance, right. I'm sure everybody here, I'm sure you guys are very independent, accomplished women. So let's say you meet this dude at the club and he looks like the guy that you want him to look like. Y'all have a night of passion. And yeah, you know, I don't say y'all get right. down like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. I got you all the Let's vibe. say y'all have a night of passion, whatever the case is, and it goes the way that you want it to go. Is it all right the next morning for that guy, knowing your status, and he doesn't have your status, but for him to look at you and be like, well, now, Yo, that, now that I laid it down, can I get a car? Or what? Oh, like, people say that? Um, Wait, you know so, like, so my next so question happens. is, has but that's have what women... I, but that's, that's what I'm touching on. I feel like, you know, there's, this, there's a, a norm of, in our industry, where it's like, if she, if she feels if that she, she got it, yeah. then you or know, she you don't even know her. She just like if we, if we don't even know each other, and we don't have that kind of rapport with each other, yeah. that kind of relationship where I buy you things and or you buy me things or whatever the case is. Then right. What? What? Well, why are we? We think about asking that? a man to buy something for you is already kind of whack in of itself. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. I, I, so that's whack. I'm just a. I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of independent women. I'm a fan of. Yeah. I don't buy it. I buy it myself. Not saying that like. I wouldn't buy it. Yes. But I love a woman that can do for herself. But it's yes. like, if you know you're not going to do this for yourself, or you're not even in a financial situation to do this for yourself, and no. we don't know each don't other, ask you. I'm the wrong guy you to ask.